Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading May 13th to May 19th, uh, 2019. And just bear with me a second guys to uh, <clears throat> shuffle the tarot cards. Um, and we can go straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so the first card for Aquarius is which is marking the topic of their week. That is going to be the uh, justice, followed by the uh, the first card that marks the topic of the week. That is going to be the justice. The second card, uh, which is the challenges here uh, for the week that you Aquarius needs to overcome. That is going to be the six of cups, followed by the third one, which is uh, what helps you throughout the week or the positivity there. That is going to be the um, <clears throat> hermit. And then the last one, we do have the guidance that is going to be the six of uh, swords. So quite of a change is what we do have. And I'm saying change, guys, because I do keep on impressions uh, from previous this week, from previous weeks. And I do believe that Aquarius has had a really, really rough time in the past couple of weeks or maybe three weeks, that is, that I made readings. So... Um, <clears throat> This week, for a change, we do have a positive one, and it does point to that things are going to become rather serious, right? Uh, uh, this, this week, you will have to focus uh, upon your responsibilities. You will have to focus as well um, upon your wishes and upon your yearnings, because probably this is the week where you consolidate things, where you kind of reach that important milestone of yours. <clears throat> which is going to um, solidify your positions. So uh, the first card that we have, this is going to be the justice. And uh, justice points that this week is going to be, is going to be a week which, uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know if that is correct to be said, but let's say a week dappled with responsibilities or responsible week, <clears throat> you know, where... Um, Everything uh, that you do will have some results. So uh, with the justice, uh, whatever seeds you do plan, either good or bad, are going to be reaped further into the future. So that's why you will have to become serious in regards to your relationships and in regards to your career endeavors as well. But important thing with the justice is to know that... <clears throat> these responsibilities or that structure that you do have needs to be um, systemized correctly, okay? So you have to be objective as well. What you can do and what you cannot do, so you start from what you can do and bit by bit push toward that field, which at that point seems a bit um, under um, overwhelming, okay? So in other words, you cannot straight away aim for the uh, for the end game, okay? But before that, beforehand, you need to make your preparations, attend to the more, um, <clears throat> how can I place it? Attend to the more uh, manageable uh, undertakings beforehand. So 
if I have to give you an example, uh, there is a, a project that starts and before you actually initiate the project, which is the big responsibility, all right, uh, you do negotiate the terms of how the project is going to go forward, which is the lesser responsibility. So start from the small, lesser responsibilities and move along with the, uh, with the bigger ones. That being said, the justice itself, it does urge you to be very accountable toward your situations and foremost toward yourself. Because for a change, justice, law and order is going to be in place throughout the week. So if you are accountable, a, a good results are going to be breathed toward yourself. But also, last thing I want to say about the card as a, uh, <coughs> as a topic is that many of you are going to find answers answers to their situations because the justice itself points that you will have that acute discernment um, within the situation itself within your marriage or within your career as well a discernment which is going to give you <coughs> excuse me the necessary insight for you to obtain the answers uh, you need the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, eight of pentacles and uh, the formation that we do have here is an active enemies. So um, uh, definitely the time has come for you to start initiating. And uh, it does seem that throughout the week you have kind of like uh, attended to the minor details of the matter. It, it does look that you will not have a, a better time of... Uh, of initiation and pushing on with the structure that you want to follow either regarding career wise or either regarding a, a relationship wise as well so uh, uh it, basically what these couple of cards are saying is that you are ready for whatever you are after you are ready to start chasing it all right <clears throat> so if you are uh let's say uh if you are single for a quite long time all well, these cards points that you are ready to start dating once again. You know, if you have been jobless for a long time, these cards are pointing that you are ready to start a, a new job. I'd say it does depend, you know, what you are lacking in your life. These cards are pointing that you are ready to uh, obtain it. Now, uh, the uh, challenging card for you, Aquarius, is this is going to be the uh, Six of Cups. And so Six of Cups here points to the very first steps of that initiation of yours. Uh, are not going to be very easy for you for the for the reason being is that you may not find them very exhilarating you may not find them very thrilling and exciting you you are going to you are going to accept them more like i would say chores all right so uh the very first steps of your initiation into one relationship or the very first steps into uh in initiation into one career could a little bit disappoint you and the challenge here is to find a um the positivity out in the minor things into those endeavors of yours it does depend uh it does depend what you're after now the thing here uh, and that uh, kind of applies into relationships okay uh, now that i think of is that let's say you are single that that could be a huge manifestation for you guys let's say that you are single <clears throat> now the follow up of these cards at this point that you may get introduced into someone or someone may be introduced to you, which one of the following could be uh, in place. You may like them very much physically, but in the same time, you may kind of like not have that usual emotional connection you want to have with them. Or you may have that extreme emotional connection and yet, you know, um, they could be a little bit repulsive physically, okay? So the challenge here, especially when we talk about relationships with these cards, is to have that balance in between the emotional state and the physical state as well, you know, in between the emotional connection and the physical uh, attraction. And for you to overcome this uh, this challenge, it's just you need to give it a time, you know, to, to spend more time with this person, if that's your case so you can uh, kind of like um, scale the positive and the negative sides of, uh, of this endeavor and I do believe that you are going to uh, decide in favor of uh, the endeavor itself. The accompanied card that is going to be the page of pentacles so the formation it is a passive friends and uh, we're definitely talking about a um, well, how do you say it? Um, doubts you may we're definitely talking here about doubts you know that you are going to be um that your expectations are going to be justified in the long run okay 
So uh, if we follow the example here of um, this uh, suitor of yours, you may have a doubt that, you know, eventually you're going to start love this person or eventually you're going to start like this person physically, I mean. Uh, but once again, give the man or the woman a chance if that is, uh, you know, in regards to your um, relationship. And you will see that uh, it goes more than a, than, a skin, than a skin deep, definitely goes. Same thing goes regarding your, uh, your career. You know, the first uh, the first steps of initiation into the project may disappoint you a little bit. And you may start doubting in the longevity of the project itself. Um, while <clears throat> there is a um, there is a, a big benefits that you can extract from it. Just just, you know, give it a time if you need. Give your give yourself a time to withdraw for a bit, you know, and just think about it. Think about it for a little while. Because the next card that we do have, that is going to be the Hermit. And this is what helps you. So, um, how you should proceed here? Should you take on this um, new structure that comes around, this new discernment of yours? Or should you pass on it? Well, uh, the Hermit urges you to take on it. Now, as a, a positive card or what helps you throughout the week, it is your intelligence and your wisdom as well. Through your intelligence and your wisdom, you will start focusing on what is substantial. So if we're following the example of this suitor of yours, right? Instead of focusing on that this person could be not fitting into your physical criteria or emotional criteria, you are gonna focus on the substantial here. And the substantial is, is that you together can have a long-term and solid, secure relationship, all right? Same thing goes regarding your career. You may not like the initiation of the project, but focusing on what is substantial is that this project is gonna raise your income, all right? And this project as well is going to secure your position at work. So it's very important to focus on what is substantial. <clears throat> and it is what you're gonna do because instead of being very emotional, which by the way, none of the cards asks you to do. As a matter of fact, when we do have the justice, it asks you to be extremely logically oriented, all right? So, um, yeah, when you clinch to your wisdom and your intelligence instead of your emotional state, uh, you are going to take on a, a new direction in your life. I'm not saying new beginning, but a new direction that is dif different, all right? So you may approach a situation from a different angle <clears throat> or you may um, start performing in a different way, you know, or you may change your goals as well and so on and so forth. A, a direction that not everybody is going to understand and exactly those who does not understand you are those who does not have a um, a place next to you in chase of uh, of your goals. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, the four and uh, these cards are speaking for themselves. Like I said, that is new, not a new beginning, guys. That is just the correct way how you start performing into either your career or into either uh, your relationship. I would say that way you will cut the bullshit, you will cut the crap. And like I said, it's time to become serious. Okay, to become serious in regards to your criteria and in regards to your expectations as well. And these cards also involve some certain compromise that needs to be made. Now, don't forget that the justice, it's a very balanced card. I mean, the justice is the mother of balance. What you give, it is what is going to be given, okay, to you, that is. So if you give compassion, if you give uh, compromise, okay, if you give solidarity, this is what you're going to face. If you give ignorance, if you give humiliation, right, <clears throat> if you give um, cockiness, it is what you're going to get uh, from the other side. So, uh, yeah, compromise as well, it's something that you should consider especially talking about newly forming a relationship and empathizement for throughout the week. That is because we go to the uh, last card here, which is the uh, Guidance, and that will be the Six of Wands. So Guidance-wise, Six of Wands points that this is going to be um, that you can achieve a, a huge milestone throughout the week, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Now, should you be sincere and accountable into your career, your efforts are going to be recognized and you are going to receive the uh, the rewards 
which are um, appropriate for your efforts. So like I said, you being cocky, there is no reward for one being cocky. You being picky, well, picky is the reward you're going to get. So it is very important to be accountable. Do not do what you don't want to be done to you, to you all right? Additionally to that, the Six of Wands says that there is no need for you to um, deny a helping hand. This card here kind of gives us a glimpse that someone may want to help you, okay, throughout the week to become more successful or to pick point you that substantial thing that you should uh, that you should focus on or what is substantial into one's life. That is especially if you are finding yourself in a very uh, despondent place, heartbroken, for example, or, or money broken, that is. So yeah, if someone approaches you and uh, shows a, um, how can I place it, you know, um, shows a yearning to help you, there is no need for you to banish that help uh, out of pride. And the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Four of Swords. So uh, basically what these couple of cards is because the formation here it is a active, uh, active friends, the milestone that you are going to achieve, it's going to be a milestone of a, a huge consolidation, huge um, security that is a milestone not that much of a milestone but more like a checkpoint a checkpoint from which there is no turning back what i mean is that no matter how bad you perform afterwards or what kind of mistakes you do afterwards if you don't wish that thing to deteriorate is not going to so just just to give you an example let's say that you do start a relationship this uh, this week that relationship is yours to break no matter how much you hurt that person you start a relationship with, uh, you know, no matter how, um, how can I place it, um, no matter how uh, selfish you are, it seems that they will always give you a second chance. That is for the near future, all right? It is not a lifetime. Tell reading is never for a lifetime. So at least should you follow here your wisdom and intelligence, being accountable toward yourself and kind of like structure your priorities correctly, it seems that a huge milestone is going to be achieved throughout this week, a milestone that is going to breed a security at least for the next couple of months in your life it's it's basically is going to give you that um that sense of peace calmness and that no one can take away uh what is yours so that being said aquarius this was your weekly tarot reading may 13th to may 19 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye